Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'll be showing you the Mitsubishi Heavy Industries MU2 that I came out today. Uh, this is on sale $8.39, but normally it costs like $12.49. This was supposed to come a couple of weeks back, but uh, they didn't have the licensing, so they must have done all that, and we got it today, so that's great. So it comes with uh, five uh, liveries, as you can see. Three normal ones and uh, two like uh, flight simulator ones. So I'm gonna go for this executive black one. Already chosen a place, so let's go. So here we go. First glimpse at it looks uh, very nice indeed. I like that it's got like the old wear and tear in the cockpit. Just look at it. Looks. Uh, I like the dials and everything. I like this uh, glass cockpits like this. So beautiful. Really nice. So we got all the navigation stuff over there. And we seem to have like a mobile phone right here, which has got the settings. Map and the settings. It tells you departure, arrival and other settings. So glass cockpit. Yes, no. Passenger, cargo. Takeoff configuration. And landing configuration. Oh, that's pretty cool. So that's, uh, let me just change it so you can see it, glass cockpit. Let me see if I can change that back. No. So yeah, that, that changes that. Let's leave it at that. As you can see, it changes that to the old school, old style. So yeah, let's go to the normal one. Because it's got the navigation stuff. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go for passenger, not cargo this time. So pretty interesting aircraft, looks wise. So let me change that cargo so you can see it again. Just want you to see the version. I may keep it cargo, doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, you can see it changes that. We got a few boxes on the back. But let me change something. I don't know if he's gonna show the passengers or not. So yeah, this is the passenger version. But let me see if I can change uh, the weight section. Let me see if it's going to show any passengers. It may not, but uh, let me just try it. Let me just have a look. Uh, payload. Let's see. Pilot baggage. No, I cannot see any people there, so that's okay. Uh, so let's change it back to 20%. I'm going to leave it at 20%, doesn't matter, or 15, 20. That's alright. So yeah, I don't seem to see any that opens. That's cool. Any of this stuff open? That opens. It's great. Anything else in here that we need to see? What's in here? What's behind there? Anything? Nope. What's this? Oh, these are uh, seats. They look good. Definitely look good. Okay, so you got uh, lights in there, landing lights, and everything else. Strobe lights, turn them off, don't need them. So we got the instrument lights, we can turn them on later. And you got a propeller de-icing, all the stuff for de-icing is there. Wipers, so great. That's it. So leave them for now. Uh, so yeah, let's take it uh, for a spin. I definitely like the cockpit on this. Really cool. So we see the pilots. Detail wise, very nice, very impressed for the price. For 839, I don't think you can get any better. So yeah, let's uh let's go. I like this uh, propeller aircraft. They're very nice. And the cockpit on this I definitely like. As you can see the wear and tear, I love that stuff. That's pretty cool. So yeah, I think uh, 
Well, let's leave it a bit longer and can talk, take off. Yeah, that's it. Perfect. Just need just to drive a bit more, get a bit more power. Great. The gear is up. So far, so good. I don't see any problems. Perhaps I can show you the lights uh, when I land. And you got the, as you can see there, there's a key there of the magneto and the batteries and the rest. That's pretty cool. Electrical inverter. Okay. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, you let me know what you think in the comments. If you like it or not, if you're gonna get it or not. We're supposed to get another aircraft today, which is a Saab. That one is a bit older, that one. That's a really old aircraft, so... Not sure if you're gonna like it as much as this one. But we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Anything else I need to have a look at? All this stuff. Left radio. Right radio. Anything else in here? Definitely like the seats. They look nice. I like the leather on those. It's not like crazy fast, but it's okay. What's that thing there? What's that thing? Is that a light? Oh, it's a light. I thought it was like an opening or something. It looked like an opening. Well, yeah, it looks, definitely looks uh, pretty good. You get close up to it. Definitely looks pretty good. So yeah, let's see how long it's gonna take for us to make it back to the place. And see if we can do a good landing. Propellers. Gear ratio engine. You got the trim there. In case you got the uh, problems. So yeah, that's good. And I like the yolk on it. Look at that, it's got like old style. You don't see that anymore, but it's pretty cool. And that mobile phone there, that makes it uh, very nice as well. Makes it easy. If my headphones go off for some reason, that's why you're not gonna hear my voice. In case the battery runs out or something. But just so you know, so far, so good. I don't see any issues with it, looks great. Yeah. Easy to fly, easy to handle. 839, it's a great price. But hopefully we can uh, make it all the way. And you saw the wipers earlier, they worked, they seem to work. So let me just uh, turn this on right now it's 
since we're here, you can taxi. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Let's uh, turn these on all the way so we can have a look when we land. I think that's everything. I think should be fine. I think that's all I could see. I don't think I could see any other lighting option here for lighting. So I'm gonna check that out. So there's an aircon there. So 22 nautical miles to go. I love this area, it's got uh, lots of mountains. It's beautiful. I always fly in this area, in the Balkans. I love the airports in here, and the mountains and the sea on the other side. So it's a combination of everything. I don't think uh, these uh, windows can open. I don't think they can open. Only the one on the back, I think, opens, but not these. Uh, I don't think it can open. No. So these are for testing. 17 nautical miles. So let's go. Let's uh, decrease our altitude a bit. I don't want to be too high when I go there. But yeah, just look at how cool the plane is, like smooth and that's alright. For a plane like this, that's good maneuvering. Yeah, all these planes look like dolphins. Same like the Honda Jet and this one, they look like kind of similar. Because the wings are different. I love both. I love the Honda Z as well. Uh, it seems alright for the price. I think it's great. So yeah, uh, we're getting there. 14 nautical miles. So you can turn them up and down. We got the, the icing there of course. Getting closer, getting closer. Hopefully I can do good landing. I think I will it's not a difficult plane to control so it should be alright. I think I turned all those lights on, did I? I think I turned them on. I think I did turn them on. So you can uh Is there another button here for some reason that I need to change? But I cannot see them being turned on. I can see these two here and then but they don't I cannot see them because it's too light or too daylight perhaps I just need to take it to night time maybe they'll show better that's the reason why they seem like a uh, they seem like LEDs on the corner so yeah we can see the airport let's uh, Give it a bit power so we can go a bit higher in this uh, kind of a mountain here. We need to go above that. Then turn. I think we'll be alright with the landing. So 
so yeah, let's uh, slow down a bit. Perfect. Nearly there, nearly there. Okay, so you can see the speed right there. This is a 160. I can see another plane there. It's a blinking. You can see right there at the end. I'm sure you can see it. That's blinking red and white. Not sure what that is because there's not a runway there. It's a So yeah, let's get ready, let's give it a bit more power just in case, and let's keep it there. We will uh, go with the gear in a bit, as soon as we hit those small houses there, we we'll go with the gear. Should be okay for the landing. That's it. Oh, nice. Let's look at that. Lovely. So let's go. I don't want to go there too slow, because I do that sometimes, and I just drop like a, like an apple on the ground. Just uh, I don't want to do that with this. I think we're okay because, uh, as you can see on the hundred, you have to be careful. And I think above that, you should be all right. Yeah, let's uh, get the view a bit better. We should be fine. Slow down. Gradually. We should be okay. We've got enough for a room anyway in the runway, so it's not like we're struggling for space. So we should be okay. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go, girl. Ooh, that was a bit, was a bit rough. I don't know why, because the speed was okay. Not sure why. Maybe it's uh, supposed to feel that way. I don't know. I don't think it was too heavy on the outside when you look on the outside, but uh, it felt heavy on the cockpit for some reason. Maybe need to keep it like 140. Keep it 140. I just went by the dial there, by the green 100. So. When you try it, keep it at 140. Don't go under that. So yeah, let's try to park this and I'll show you the the lights. How it looks at night time. Yeah, really impressed by this aircraft. Really smooth. I like it. Let's uh, increase the flaps. Yeah, I really like it. I like how it reacts to the brakes, suspension. And the noise when the, you get the gear down or the gear up. I like that. And it seems to work pretty well on the ground as well. Which is what you like, want to see. Yeah, so far so good. Sticking all the boxes for the price. Great. But first, let me show you what it looks around. Then I'll show you the lights. I'll show you what the, actually the detail itself is on the outside before I turn it off or I'll show you the light so let's park it up
Yeah, it should be right in here, I think. So yeah, let's... Uh, as you can see, that's the reverse rust. So it has that. Let me just show you that again. It's, it has a reverse rust, that's for sure. As you can see... It yeah. It does. So perfect. So you want to keep that under control, don't uh, and put it in brakes. That's it. Let's slow down a bit. Yeah, I think we'll be okay now. Just slow down. Yeah, that's it. Perfect. So yeah, let's go to camera showcase. Let's turn that to 7. Should be alright. So let me show you what it looks like. So yeah, they seem... I think they seem on now. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's not bad. Looks alright. Same for the gear. And the tires, not bad. That's alright. Not the best I've seen, but uh, it's decent. Yep, the slides are turned on. They look funny. I don't know why they look that way. Look a bit like blurry or dim or something. Oh, they're okay. Yeah, it's not bad overall. Not bad. Uh, so let's... Uh, Let's go inside the cockpit again. Let me show you that door if that opens. I try the door. Should open. I don't think we're gonna have any problem. Yeah, it's fine. That works. Perfect. So let's uh, go to night time. Let's see how this lighting works in night time. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. You can see everything in here. What about in the back? There's supposed to be anything in there for the... Maybe I'm missing something for the back. Let me just try again. Maybe there's something there in the back. I need to check. Maybe there's some button or something. What's that? Gotta be something here, man. These are lights, but I cannot see anything that you can click on it. Unless I'm missing something from here. These are anti-ice wipers. Maybe there's something here. Let me just have a look. Anything in here? I don't think I can see any other lighting in here. Could be wrong, but... So all these are turned to 100%. So I don't know. So let's get back to it. If it doesn't, if it doesn't. But let me know if uh, you figure that out. So yeah, I cannot see anything in the back. But outside, it's fine. All the light seems to work. That's good. Yeah, let me know if you figure that out. For the lights on the back. So... I think you can do it uh, automatically from here, when you click uh, landing configuration, I think you can do it. Let me just click on that, just, just see what happens. When you click on that. Let's try it. So 
go to settings. Oh, I see, I need to turn it off. Turn the engine off, perhaps. Let me try it with that. Let's see. Yeah, that's it. Why are they not turning off? Or are they? Yeah, they, yeah, they are. They seem to work alright. It's just the way you do it. When you start, you have to do that. So that's okay. Yeah, I couldn't figure out the lighting on the back, so I'm not sure why. Let me just uh, get rid of this. Maybe there's something hidden here. Generator. So yeah, that's just the battery on and off. I don't think I can see anything else when it comes to... I can see the fuel stuff. Horn. But I cannot see any other options for lights, but anywhere, doesn't matter. So yeah, as a plane, it's pretty cool for the price. 839. Yeah, I definitely recommend it for that price. So give it a try, if you like this sort of aircraft, why not? So yeah, I hope uh, you enjoyed this video, you're one and only, Quantum Gaming Uploads. Thank you very much for watching, take care and all the best, have a great Halloween, and we'll see you soon, bye bye.